What's up everyone? My name's Phil from Down to Mob Overland. We're here at Overland Expo West 2021 and you're watching Waypoint Overland. What's up everyone? Well, my name's Phil from Down to Mob Overland and I met Phil from Waypoint Overland and I was really excited to chat with him. He asked me to tell you guys a little bit about how I got started in overlanding, I guess. And this is a great place to talk about it, Overland Expo West 2021. Um, I was here about five years ago and I really realized wow, this is a whole world that I could get into. And I was in finance at the time talking to folks about retirement and I realized I really wanted to travel and I wanted to do it now. So I quit my job and I went off on the road full time and I just started filming everything. Um, and I had a most amazing experience. I met so many people um, and that, you know, led me to want to build a new truck. So I've got my Jeep Gladiator down here at the off the grid booth and uh, it's halfway between the build, but I'm so excited to show everyone here what it is right now, you know, and to be able to go out and use it as it is right now. Um, really excited about the bison camper coming, but uh, yeah, right now we're just soaking it up, meeting people. Really cool to meet Phil and hear his perspective on everything. So yeah, you guys can check out my channel, Down to Mob Overland, for more of that. But that's a brief little history of kind of why I got into it. And I guess I'll add too, in 2019, we went from Arizona to the Arctic Ocean and all through Alaska. And uh, I just was really inspired to continue exploring and meeting people. So great to talk with you guys. Enjoy the channel. So now that you guys know a little bit about me, um, Phil and I decided we're going to give you a little tour of the Overland Expo 2021, a little collaboration with Waypoint Overland. So let's check out the show, huh? It's exactly what I need to be doing. Hanging out here with Mike from Hellwig. What's up, Mike? Are we, we're live right now. We're doing this. We're live. Oh, hey, how's it going? Dude, I'm doing great. We hung out last night. It was a good uh, first night for, for me and you hanging at the expo. 100%. Yeah, mm -hmm. hung out, had a few adult beverages, mm -hmm. had a few adult conversations. Good times. Last time Mike and I saw each other, I was like, hey, Mike, uh, I need a little help. I broke my Jeep. Yeah, uh, y yes, you did. Yeah. Uh, you broke the front end, but you also found a weak point on the chassis where we broke an in link bar mm -hmm. a tab off of the Gladiator. Mm -hmm. So uh, we actually made you a special piece to stiffen that up, to mm -hmm. give it some structural integrity. And how's it been? It's, it's been awesome. And honestly, so cool to have like done some real deal R and D and then tell you, and within hours you're like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll pass this on. We'll build something to, to fix this. Now you include that with the rear sway bar kits, right? Uh, or is of, it is it an option? As of right now, it is not included with the rear sway bar kits. You are, you are a special case. Phil, if you don't know, he's down to mob, and mob he does. So so much so that he might break some metal sometimes. Yeah. So specifically for you, we address that. If it comes up again, we already have the solution. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Well, this Ranger here is the big the big Hellwig uh, uh, build that you guys are showing off. But you've always got another one in the works, right? F-150, right, is the next one? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, word on the street is we're doing an F-150 this year. That'll be debuting in Ford's booth at SEMA. So you got about five weeks to wait on that one. But yeah, the Rangers are, are built our overland platform showcasing our helper springs and sway bars. We also have a, a attainable adventure here behind us, which if you don't know who they are, they are a couple husband wife that built this camper all by themselves. They're running our helper springs and sway bar. They have a YouTube channel where they do a bunch of building fabricating. So check them out. Nice. It's, uh, Ambition strikes. So nice. I might have actually said it wrong initially. Yeah, this rig looks super. So this is custom built. Custom built. This is really cool. I did not. I didn't think this was custom built when I first looked at it. It looks very refined. Yeah. Yeah. And we had the overload assist springs and the sway bar on the Dodge Mahal, yeah, I mean, and that helped a bunch with the load and sway control. Oh, 100%. I mean, if you're overloading, I mean, overlanding, <laughs> you're definitely, definitely going to need to consider this name this brand right here hellwick suspension products beep, 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 beep. We, we've been in business since 1946 we're fourth generation family owned american steel american made product and well not only do we support your vehicle we literally support you at these events this is what we do we're out here living the life 
Yeah, and Mike even more so. Like we become friends, and you we were talking when Timmy was broke down, and you had a solution, and I'm just like, dude, this community is so cool. I'm just thankful to be a part of it. Coming down the main hall, and of course, we couldn't miss our friend Adam with Step 22 gear. Right on. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Good it's to see you too. We're all online checking in this and that. We're finally here. We can see each other person, get hands on and get some uh, some new content out for you guys. Yeah, you've got tons of new products, so we want to show you those. I've been rocking the Stingray flat boxes and it's been amazing. My camper's not on, my setup's just halfway between Z's and having these makes things really simple. And they just seem to fit everywhere, so yeah. yeah. I've been loving rocking your gear, man. Thank you, and, and that's the goal. I mean, everything we do is, is to solve a problem. You know, uh, most everything is problems that I've had myself where I can't store something or I'm storing something you know, the wrong way or the hedgehog, my phone and my keys when I'm trying to wash up, it's trying to solve problems. And, and we're finding that all of the end users like you, we're solving those problems to help you get your storage organized so you can just get on the trail, explore more. The idea is when you get off the trail, we. As much as we want you talking about our gear, we don't want you talking about our gear because that means it just worked. Mm -hmm. Your trip was smooth, it was easy, you're not complaining about what a pain it was to set up Camp Kitchen or get your recovery. It just went smooth. And so when that's the case, you know that the gear has done its job. Yeah. So. Well, and, and that's what's so cool, talking to you, seeing the products, you just see it all come through. It's funny because we just met this this trip and I'm in person. Yeah. I'm like, wait, we've yeah. <laughs> really this is the first time because we oh, video we've chatted. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like you're, you know, and that's why. I and like I've seen your passion come yeah. through. Thank you, know? you. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's see what you got so, for the new stuff. We do have new stuff. So uh, launching at the Overland Expo West mm -hmm. here, kind of exclusive for for you guys that are here, and then also that'll allow you guys to be able to see at home. If we just take a few steps inside, I'll show you some of the new gear. All right, so here we are with one of our new bags. This is the Rhino, and basically this is just a big gear bag. Now, uh, we've got one here with recovery gear in it, so let me just show you how much recovery gear. That's a ton of recovery gear. But so the sides all zip yeah, up and so down. The, the key to this bag is the design of the zipper. You see it comes down at an angle to the front, and what that does, it does a couple things. You can access your gear easily both for load in and load out. Another thing it does is you've got a built-in mat now. So if you're out on the trail and what you're taking out or in your rig, or your back of the truck, um, and you got gear and you got mud, you don't want uh, your gear to get messed up, you've got now a spot to set your stuff also. Uh, with the roll top design, one of the advantages, depending on your load, if you got a full load, you get one roll. If you got a lighter load, you can continue to roll down. Um, we've, we look at the one that's full here, we got quite a lot of gear in it, right? So once we zip it, we give it a couple rolls. You've got compression straps, two on the top and two on the side, right? So you're able to keep your gear secure. If you got this in the back of your Jeep or the back of your truck, mm -hmm. right? And you're, you, you're mobbing, right? <laughs> oh you're yeah. Mobbing down and you're, you know, your bags are gonna get dirty, but your gear is gonna be clean. It's gonna be protected when you need to use it. Unzip it, come down your gear is going to be fresh and ready to go so that's that's the rhino oh i love it and this material this is the same as the it's hd heavy right heavy duty yep. coated nylon mm -hmm. uh the tool roll the stingray flat box hgs this is the same material the, the nylon alone uh beneath the coating would have been enough mm -hmm. but you know we overbuild everything it, we we build it because you're going to go out and use this stuff so if we get that extra coating on it it's that it's really good for that um that abrasion resistance, you know, you get, you, you can really get on it. And it makes it fun to use these and like literally the pangolin tool roll, I'm just like throw it around, toss it, slide it around because yeah. it's, yeah, it holds yeah. up to everything. It's, yeah. it's awesome stuff. Yeah. This is, this is exciting. This sort of and it, and this great is, clothes storage, I think. It's not just recovery gear. I'm showing it with recovery gear. It's moto riders you got your boots your helmets mountain bike riders you can fit multiple helmets and boots in here it's it's any kind of gear skiing any kind of gear that you're going out and doing this is the option clothes sleeping bags pillows stuff them down in there it's kind of, it's like the stingray flat box right people say what can we put in the stingray it's easier to say there's really not much you can't put in a stingray it's this bag is going to be the same case yeah i like that and you've got some cool new Really cool new stuff that's going to change how we Velcro, how we Molly, right? I mean, it's, it is, I think, I think it's going to be a game changer. 
That's Jaybird coming in to ruin the shot. Why don't we head over real quick and check out these new panels we got? Let's do it. Okay, now we're over here at the stand. Uh, like I said, world exclusive. Now here's the deal. A lot of us are using Velcro. We got Velcro bags and all kinds of Velcro. And Molly or PALS spaced webbing is really popular. We've taken Velcro, Velcro brand, and Molly and married the two. So what we have here is a panel that is Molly spacing, Molly grid made out of Velcro brand one wrap. So one wrap is uh, it's one side hook, one side loop, right? And so this is an adjustable Molly panel. On the back side, you've got hook. So if you've got a backpack or a camper that's loop compatible wall, you can stick this panel on it. Now you can hook Molly bags or other Velcro to it. It's also got slots, so you could hook it to a rigid panel, right? So you're no longer limited to Velcro to Velcro or Molly to Molly. Mm -hmm. Sun visor. Oh yeah. Right. So this is now you got your sun visor. We turn we turn the slots horizontal because right we, when you see these that are vertical and you drop this down, your stuff falls out. We turn them horizontal. So you can configure this to whatever you want. Your your pocket knife, um, your writing utensils, your charging cords, your Bluetooth headset. You can stick because it's Velcro a little pouch on it. You can put your patches on it still. And one trip you configure it one way. The next trip you change it up, configure it another way. And that's the same for all the panels. Mm -hmm. This is the chameleon. Now in it, you're gonna see one of these panels, but this, right, if you, down at the bottom here, it works awesome for a camp kitchen, right? Using our Molly hook it, so you can easily move this from location to location in your rig. Using that panel, you can get your utensils up in here. This is also removable, so you could put pouches right maybe this is for tech maybe your camp kitchen this doesn't work good for but you got the radios mm -hmm. or it's a junk drawer you got that junk drawer at your house where you're like where do i put this stuff in your rig you take your hat off at the end of the day whatever you're doing right you got three pockets down in the bottom zippered so highly modular mm -hmm. so my mind is literally kind of blown and you've you've showed me all this before yeah but this stuff, no, this is, now, you get now I see it in person yeah. and this, it literally takes a while, I think, for your brain to even comprehend yeah. the possibilities. Yeah. Like this isn't the start of a Molly system. This is a Molly this is, system. This is fresh. There is nothing like this on the market in the world. It, we've come up with a hundred uses for it already. You and you guys at home are going to take these panels and you're going to go out and you're going to have a, a use case where you come up with a new way to use this, right? And and that's kind of the idea. It's it's tactical, right? For legitimate tactical operators. It's tactical for us guys who like to roll around with our multi-cam <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah. And it's good to use in a bag, it's seat back, it's yeah. visor, it's it's inside a stingray. Um, it really is endless. It's an entire new platform. Yeah. Well, you've done a great job creating it. I love the modularity because I'm always changing my camp setup, yeah. where things are, especially the little stuff. Yeah. So to be able to make these things to carry the flashlights, it's just really cool. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what we can uh, do with it in the bison camper yes, for storage. Yeah. Thank you. And with our, our Molly Hook It, like you say, it's a little overwhelming. A lot of people look at the Hook It and it's all this hardware and they don't you don't really realize what you can do, but when you start to break it down piece by piece, and you realize how easy it is to turn a molly bag into a sling bag with just two simple pieces of hardware, mm -hmm. or turn this into a headrest bag, or attach this to another panel easily using the hook at, the panels are just a continuation of that, wanting to make your travel easy. When you go out and you need to change your setup or you go from rig to rig, you're not having to load everything out and figure out how you're going to do it. Everything's kind of, we say, kind of hot swappable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the idea. That's what it's all about, making it easier and yeah. fun and, yeah, organized so that you can focus on where you are and not what yeah. you brought there, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, thanks, Adam. Absolutely. Awesome thanks chatting with you. By. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we'll go see who else uh, we can find out at right the now. show. All right, enjoy the show. All thanks, right, Adam. See you, man.